Oh wow. Here we have the body piece with the roof. Axle under frame. Alrighty, so here's the main body itself. Inside you can see more of the 3D print marks, but on the front here, everything else seems to be pretty well done. I don't know if I'm gonna go through the filing process just because there's so much little detail here, and I have a thick primer that should be able to cover that up quite nicely. But at the very least, I'm gonna need to uh, get all of these small pieces off to make sure the paint lays, you know, very finely. Here we have the roof sections, and the 3D printing on these ones is a bit more clear. I tried to do a bit of filing here, and as you can see, it didn't really have the result that I thought it would, so I might end up just leaving this as well, and just try to, you know, heavy prime it. I'm sorry, Arlo. Alrighty, here we have the axles where the wheels will be held, as well as real Slater's Plastic Card Gauge 1 wheels. This here should be the undercarriage. Yes, this sits under the wagon itself. There you can see where the buffers would go and the hook itself. I think the hook is the only piece that I'm missing. So I'm going to have to order one of those pieces and add it to this set, but uh, shouldn't be too hard to do. Here we have some of the faces. These ones are still on, I guess, the, I guess this is the printing tray. My favorite two coincidentally happen to be the ones that are on here, so I might end up just using these two. We'll see, I guess. Here are the door pieces. These would sit on the side here, I believe, like so. Yep, and that is the, uh, I guess, tour portion of the uh, salt wagon. Here we have the buffers, which should apply to the very front of this part here. And here we have some wood planks that I believe will go on the back right here. Alrighty, nice. So yeah, it's looking like we have everything besides uh, couplers. So I'll be sure to order those to make sure to finish this guy off. But uh, let's go ahead and start with this assembly. And let's apply it. Alrighty, we have one door area applied, and it looks like the bottom has dried quite well. Wonderful, okay. Go ahead and start on the other side as well. Where'd I put that piece? Uh-oh. And as you can see, I've got the sides here applied on either side. I went back and made sure um, with this little thumbtack here that um all of the top parts here as well as the bottom parts were actually secured in with glue so we will see no movement from those areas here at least now i'm trying to decide where i want to move forward with this i could go for the axles themselves i could do the buffers but i believe i'm going to go with the axles first because i'm pretty sure with these parts here that they just fit into place yep it looks like they just fit right into there so I guess that won't be too hard. I'll go with uh, that next. Alrighty, perfect. We have one set of axles applied. Alrighty, got this one cleaned up significantly better. So let's go ahead and apply this one as well. Alrighty, we have the axles applied on either side. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at these buffers while I have them out, however. I wonder how they come, I believe, yeah, let's see here. This would be the bottom piece and this top one here, it'll go in, there it is. Fits inside and here you have your buffer. The, uh, what it fits inside is meant to be the housing, I believe, yes. So they're not sprung or anything, unfortunately, but they are, um, I guess, you know, not too bad looking. And once you have it made, you just take it and apply it to the front, I believe. So let's just start with assembling all these things. Alrighty, the buffers are definitely not perfect, but they are uh, 
you know, enough. They don't look horrible, I would say. They are just a bit uh, rough around the edges, as you can see here. However, I do have a bit of ideas on how I can cover that up once we get to the painting process. Alrighty, we have one buffer fit to the wagon itself. Nice. Alrighty, only one more left. Alrighty, buffers on either side have been applied. Now what I want to do is really look at this roof and um, clean it off. It definitely has a lot of string on it itself. And try to decide what I really want to do with it. Um, there's a lot of ideas I have. You know, do I just want to paint it, you know, and try to fill in all of these little areas? Is there, you know, another option, I guess? I don't know. I'll do a little bit of research, uh, look at some more pictures of the real things and try to come down on what I want to do myself. Do a little bit of a test fit on the roof here. Alrighty, we can really see how this is gonna come together now. I'm not sure if I want to go for like a season five look, you know, like what exactly I want to do here, but um, it is all coming together, you know? I'm starting to be able to uh, see it. But I'd like to have the roof on, especially for this next part because I'm gonna go ahead and try to apply the small wood planks, apply these on both sides. I probably should have done this before the buffers, but it's all right, live and learn. Alrighty, there's one applied to the front. Let's go ahead and go in for the second one. Boom, alrighty. And we have one side done with the uh, planks here. I'm gonna let this side dry for a bit properly before we jump on to doing the other side. All right, let's go ahead and start on this other side now. Flip it over like so. I'm trying to be careful everywhere I grab it. I'm scared I'm gonna knock a detail that I've uh, already glued on off. It's not the goal here. Make sure these buffers are on there tight. Good, good. All right, let's go ahead and start with this piece of wood here. I'm trying to figure out what livery I'm gonna do. Like, is it gonna be the cream colored? Then is it gonna be the red one? Am I just gonna do my own thing? You know, go off of the beaten path? I don't know. I was half tempted to do like a real life livery, but I don't know. I'm not sure if I want mine to look like it's from the TV show or something that, you know, I made myself. We'll see, we'll see. All right, one more piece of wood and the main assembly minus the couplings, which I am going to order, is done. God, I gotta spend more money. Let's clean this off real quick. Hold that still for a second. Don't want it laying on there crooked. Let's make sure everything's straight. There's gonna be a bit of glue overrun, especially from this one, um, and that's okay. Um, when I go back to paint it, that shouldn't be a problem at all. Thankfully, the small glue normally lays very flat. It's one of the reasons that I particularly like using uh, the tester's kind. So that should be good. Alrighty, guys, here we have our 3D printed salt van right now. It has all of the sides, it has its buffers applied as well. This thing is pretty big, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get it uh, all in shot here. But um, here it is. Thomas and Friends salt van replica. Let's go ahead and fit it with its wheels real quick. Alrighty, with the wheels fitted, here is the salt van. All right, gotta get the roof put on there a bit better, but um, it is basically completed minus its couplings, like I keep saying. Um, I'll have to now prime it, um, especially clean off the roof here a bit more, fix these faces. Yeah, it'll be cool soon. It'll be finished soon. Yeah, um, sick.